Andy Murray has ended Britain's 76-year wait for a men's Grand Slam victory after winning at the US Open overnight. He beat the defending champion Novak Djokovic in a five-set thriller to win his first Grand Slam title. Lucy Watson watched the match and is in New York for us this morning. Bit of a nail-biter, Lucy. That, I would have to say, would be an understatement. Exhilarating, agonising, but who cares? Ultimately, he was victorious. So many people I spoke to outside the stadium just said they knew his moment would come sooner or later, but he didn't make it easy for himself. He won the first two sets, still quite close games. They had to really play for it. Lost the second two, and we're thinking, oh, no, here we go again. Is it going to be the drama? And it was, but he held his nerve for that fifth set breaking really early and taking that title. And this is what some of his biggest fans had to say outside the stadium straight afterwards. Un unbelievable drama, you know, like, he, al he always looks like he's going to snatch defeat from the jaws of victory, but he, he pulled through it. I believed in Andy from the day he, he, he first stepped onto the centre court at Wimbledon and to see him do it today, it was magical. It was just surreal, really surreal, not actually genuinely believing that I'd seen a British tennis player win a Grand Slam. And there's some celebrity supporters too. Well, in the stadium, I spotted Sean Connery and Kevin Spacey, but online, on Twitter, lots and lots of celebs have been tweeting about him. Jimmy Carr said, Andy Murray has just made me cry. The man is a god. I'm so happy. Piers Morgan says, absolutely magnificent win by Andy Murray. What a heart, what fight, what guts. And Russell Crowe, Andy Murray on a roll, you champion. And you did really feel it. Watching him do it, you felt that every fibre of his being really wanted it, and he was not going to let Djokovic take it away from him this time. Good for him. Thank you very much, Lucy. We're joined now by Andy's former coach, Miles McLaggen, another proud Scotsman, I'm sure, Miles, and looking a bit bleary-eyed. You stayed up to watch it, obviously. <laughs> uh, I stayed up, yeah. I only finished about four hours ago. But I got my Scottish wake. wake yeah, did. I did notice that, actually, yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, you must be really proud, because you worked with uh, Andy for quite a while, didn't you? Uh, yeah, two and a half years. Um, two and a half good years. And um, I, I think the overriding thing, I'm happy for him. I mean, he, he really deserves it. And I think with, with so many jobs, so much goes on behind the scenes that people don't appreciate and how hard he's worked and how he's kept driving forward to, to achieve, you know, one of the great goals in a sport, that, he, that he's finally earned it is great. And a lot of it, I suppose, has been uh, getting his mind right getting his mind to not get frustrated to keep his anger under control and he really has done that in and it's it's paid dividends hasn't it yeah clearly uh, he has done that and i think the mind's the most difficult thing because you can't actually see the improvements but he's definitely learned to channel it he's learned to use the emotions of the crowd we saw that so well at wimbledon and the olympics how he'd sort of bring the crowd into the match use their positive mm. vibes was he very fiery when you were with him um, yeah, I'd say he's still fiery, but yeah. he's uh, but he but he's channeling that, and 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 he's learning what he, he can't fight. You know, he's learning his battles to fight, which people do when they get a bit older. And um, I think there's been a gradual, um, you know, progression over the years before he was with me and afterwards. And it's uh, you know, again, he's he's got what he deserves. Yeah, the key seems to be Ivan Lendl, who also lost, I think, four Grand Slam finals before right. winning in his fifth, just like Andy Murray has now. And there you go, he's celebrating with a big smile there, Ivan Lendl. He never seems to budge. He's always got that poker face. Yeah, I, I think a, a lot of coaches actually do that. I mean, he, he's probably a bit extreme because you're, you're trying to portray a sort of an, an aura of calm and confidence from the box. But um, the, the reason you wouldn't see him smile too much because he was brought in to win a Grand Slam and until he's done that, until last night or this morning, he, that he hadn't achieved what he was there to do. And so just getting to the final of Wimbledon, he'd been in slams before, slam finals, um, wasn't what he was there for. And he's, you know, Lindell's someone who deals in the highest echelons mm -hmm. of the game. So... Yeah, he, he was after the great prize as well. And you know the family, we've obviously all seen them together, uh, they're all into tennis, so what will this mean to them? I think a, a big relief, they can start, <laughs> they don't have to ask that, answer that question about Kenny anymore. Now, yeah. I suppose it's probably pretty quickly going to move on to like can how many Wimbledon? wins the yeah, next one when you win Wimbledon. Um, yeah, I mean, Andy's, th there's, in all these things, families put in big... Um, you know, huge commitment, sacrifice. It's you know, it's those parents that instead of going to a family barbecue, they drive up and down the motorway to tennis tournaments around the country. Oh, lots of mum and dads will be doing that now for their children. Yeah, they well, that's what that. it takes to get to the top of yeah. professional sport. It's not easy. It's a family win, isn't it? At the end of the day. Yeah, I, I think so. I mean, I'll be, you know, Jamie for his brother, um, Judy and Will for their son. I mean, be incredibly proud. Oh, and and Britain as well, and Scotland too. Yeah, Miles, absolutely. thanks very much indeed. Thanks thank for you. Go and get some sleep yeah. now. <laughs> you can lie down on the sofa if you like. We won't oh, mind. Thank you.